What camera gear do you need when starting out on YouTube? Let's quickly run through what I'm using right now in this video. Hi everyone, Marlon King here and I make videos about consumer technology, camera gear and also tutorials and discussions on what I'm using and how I can help you start your channel as well. So uh, in this video, let's run through what I'm using for this video right now. And when you're starting out, I think the most important thing is the camera, of course, and you should buy as much as you can afford at that point in time, but don't overdo your budget, don't stretch yourself or anything silly like that. You can start off using your phone. Now in this video, I'm using the Canon G7X Mark II, which is the older one, and you can get it for around four or 500 pounds in the UK, and it's probably similar price in the US. I don't know prices elsewhere, but you get the, the picture. And this camera is really great for vlogging. You've got the flip up screen, which I can't show you because I'm, but I can see myself right now. And it's directly above the lens, which means I can quickly cast my eye up, check I'm in focus. Yes, I've got the box around my face, which is great. And you know, it generally means I can get really good quality videos. It also has an ND filter built in. So if I go outside, I'm not outside right now, but it's really good for that as well. So the, the shot doesn't get overexposed or underexposed. Right, so let's move on to other gear that you might need. Uh, one is lights. However, if you can film through the day, like I am right now, I'm using a window light. I've literally got nothing else turned on. Of course, if you wanna get a little bit vibey, you can of course have like a little lamp on, something like that, but it's not necessary when you're starting out, right? So daylight will do a great job. Right, so I've just popped the camera down on the table now and I'm using a Manfrotto Pixie. It's a mini tripod, costs about between 20 and 40 pounds. I paid for the slightly bigger one where the legs extend. However, I must admit most of the time I don't use the extension so you could easily get away with the cheaper one. So for 20 quid, that should cover you for your a tripod and I've just got it resting on my desk here. Um, what else? Well, I'm using a tie clip microphone. This one, is about 20 to 30 pounds and I think it it does a really great job you have to be careful you know if you knock it you'll get a rustling noise like this most of the time I don't get anything through that and I really like the sound and sometimes I can combine it with the sound from the camera as well just to kind of um, get the atmospheric sound as well and now how am I recording this microphone because the camera doesn't have a microphone in I'm using this little portable Yamaha C24 which is about 10 years old if not more but you can go straight into your phone as well you can get a little connector or obviously you might need a, a, C, a usb converter as well but the connectors are about five pound on amazon and that gives you a headphone out and a microphone in so you just plug that straight into your phone use voice recorder um, android and iphone both have that so no problems there so that covers off the camera the light the tripod and the sound and I'll be honest with you when you're starting out on YouTube that is all you're gonna need you don't need anything else so you know other than practicing making your videos so let's start there and if you want a little task I suggest you just go out and make a video with what you've got right now it doesn't matter if you've got a try if you don't have a tripod rest it on the table if you don't have a microphone just use the inbuilt one and I must admit for all of my um, travel vlogs and when I'm out and about I just use the microphone built into this camera I don't use this because it's a bit of a pain to set up when you want to capture the moment so just go ahead use the camera and if you don't have a camera just use your phone like honestly the phones are so good these days you know you can get away with out a camera if you need to um, and but if you are using your phone try and flip it around and use the the back cameras because you'll get better quality than the, the selfie cam um, and that's it so literally just go away and make your first video if it's your first one you just want to introduce yourself talk a bit about what you want to achieve with your videos and then post it online that is the the crucial thing and look if you're worried about how bad it is I suggest you go back and look at my first video I, I, I literally forced myself to make a video on the day I filmed it on my iPhone 6s and it's just me walking down a road talking about look this is I'm challenging myself to, to do it and I did it I'm not gonna say it looks pretty but after I did that I continued to make a video each week for over a year and by which point you know the channel was already established and I already had a routine so that's what you need to kickstart your channel but gear wise I've talked about what I'm using what you can use and as you can see 
outside of the camera itself, which is 500, tripod 20, mic 20, cable to connect to your phone to record it, 20, lighting, free if you're using daylight, and that's all you need. I really hope you found this helpful. Please drop me a comment below on what camera you plan to use to start making your videos, and let me know if you've got any questions. I'm more than happy to help. If you are using the Canon G7X Mark II like I am, I've already made a video about the best settings to use for making videos, so definitely check that out. And on that note, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get notifications on when I release new videos. Have a great day. Peace.